This video has been a long time in the making, an ultimate collection of my favourite smartphone gadgets from episodes you might have seen, as well as completely new ones that you haven't. First up is the retractable cable, which comes in this protective metal housing, and it also has not just micro USB, but also USB Type-C connections built in. Anytime you want to pull the cable out, you just give it a tug, and anytime you want it back in again, a little pull again. Its full extension is about a meter, so it's not the longest cable you've ever seen, but more than enough for most people. Bondic is a two-sided tool with one end that releases a compound which seals roughed up cables, and when you flip it around, the other end emits a UV light, which basically accelerates the drying process of this compound. Then we've got smartphone triggers, which are a great way to play games on your phone and just have an extra bit of tactility while doing so. The cassette power bank is one of my favourite power banks. It's got a decent capacity, 6,000 milliamp hours, but more importantly, faithfully recreates its source material. And I like the slick ribbon cable that comes with it. If you've recently been to a hot country and wish you had a fan that didn't run out of charge, here's one that plugs directly into your phone. And the power consumption really isn't as much as you'd think. The next one is a little on the fiddly side, but totally worth it. It's an adjustable light bulb with three different brightness settings, and essentially, in areas where there's not too much light, it'll transform something like the left-hand side shot to something like the right-hand side shot. The face will be better exposed, and the background as a result. The excitement for Google Cardboard has definitely died down a bit in the last few years, but for those of you who haven't had a chance to dive into that VR experience, this is one of the cheapest and highest quality ways of doing it. Now, in the tech world, we have a bit of a rule. If a product is good, make it better with LED lights. And of course, that's what these guys had in mind. A built-in optical cable essentially visualizes the flow of electricity as your phone is being charged with it. Then we've got stickers. And you might be thinking, how does that relate to my phone exactly? Well, these are smart stickers, which you place on boxes you're going to be storing away, take a photo of whatever's inside that box, and then scan the sticker with the included application. And all of a sudden then, without opening up all your boxes, you can keep track of where they're being stored and what is inside each one. NFC coasters have got to be some of my favourite items on this list, because they not just act as NFC tags where you can place your phone on them to trigger a response like changing smart lights or opening a certain application, but they also act as coasters, and you can never have too many coasters. The Magniband is a slick little tool that uses elastic to hold itself up against your smartphone camera, and is a macro lens, so it allows you to go much, much closer to objects while still retaining focus, turning a photo like this into one like this. The InnerTech Mercury Box is pretty much the budget Bluetooth speaker I recommend to everyone. It's got a tough build quality, IPX5 water resistance, decent battery life, and really good sound for the price. Not to mention an included leatherette case. On the subject of speakers, the Splashtunes Pro is pretty much the speaker for using in the shower. It is of course completely waterproof, has a suction cup so it sticks to most surfaces, and it's much louder than just using your phone. Decent sound quality too. Now I'm not personally a massive phone gamer, but this gamepad right here is pretty much the most portable and flat lying one I've come across. The buttons don't have massive amounts of travel, but it's nonetheless comfortable. From SanDisk, this 16GB memory card can be plugged directly into not just your computer, but also your smartphone, and its two-sided design makes it quite convenient to do so. For people who vlog on their phone, or for people who just do a lot of calling, you can just plug this into your headphone jack and instantly step up your audio game. Okay, quick sound test here without the microphone, and this is the audio with the new microphone plugged in. Should be a fair bit of difference. This one is an absolute lifesaver, a magnetic, fully reversible charging cable. The pack comes with three different tips depending on which phone you have, and once you've plugged one of those in, you can leave it there and charge your phone the same way you would charge a MacBook with a MagSafe adapter. And then we've got probably my favourite smartphone stand, because it's extremely durable, but also rubberized to protect your smartphone from getting scratched, and 100% adjustable, so you could use it to watch films on your phone, or even just as a showcase. I showed you guys this quad smartphone lens not too long ago, but I didn't get round to actually showing you what it was capable of. So to give you an idea, you can take super close macro shots, standard wide shots, but then you can go ultra wide, or if you wanted to go even further back, you've got fisheye. 
the Sennheiser Momentum Wireless In-Ear are pretty much the headphones that I pick up if I'm just running out the house. They've got really good battery life, are very comfortable, and the sound quality is about as good as it gets for wireless earphones. While this is not an officially licensed product, I'm a big fan of this Lego but not quite Lego iPhone case. It comes with a little bag of pieces, so if you ever wanted to change whatever you've made on the back of your phone, you can do that. On the subject of the back of your phone, this wallet will stick to it, allowing you to store loose change, a couple of notes, or even a card. This next one is definitely more of a toy than a cinematographer's tool, but it allows you to take photos and videos in 3D, which can then be viewed on a Google Cardboard headset. The Glass Plus Vision Guard is a screen protector that also doubles as a blue light filter, but unlike a software-based blue light filter that you see on the left, this doesn't distort the color profile of your phone. This is a ring light, which is yet another way to light up your face when taking photos, but it does so in a slightly more cinematic way. The lighting will be more even because it's spread over a wider area, and you'll be able to see the little rings in your eyes in the reflection. The smartphone telescope allows you to get not three, not four, but 40 times closer to objects, which can turn a video like this into something like this. Very impressive for a phone, but at the same time, it's not the most practical gadget to use. The unbreakable is exactly what it says on the tin, a cable that pretty much doesn't break. It can withstand high temperatures, being torn, heavy weights, as well as just fraying over time. The Magne Viewer is probably the best portable way to enlarge the screen of your phone. You can just connect to a wireless pair of earphones, pop your device in the back, and that's it, your screen is twice as large with very little distortion. I like this one. This phone hanger is a pretty inexpensive plastic gadget that hooks around your charger and just gives your device a place to rest, so it's not hanging freefall like this. The TVU is a curious Bluetooth speaker, because in fact the selling point here isn't the sound, but more the form factor and this customizable display on the front. Whoosh is a spray for your smartphone, which will help you pick up dust and dirt, is antibacterial, and will also resist smudges for a bit. It's not a magic formula, but at the same time, one bottle does last a very long time. Next up, we've got a wireless charging pad, but not for one phone or two phones, but three devices at once, and it also combines this with two full-size USB ports. Nope, it's not a slug. This is a cable organizer, and it just sits on your desk and just keeps the cables together, but at the same time not so much that they become tangled. The Insta360 One is a 360-degree camera that just plugs into your smartphone and is controlled by an app, and it can record 4K video and take 24 megapixel photos. Not really a smartphone gadget, but at the same time, this is one of the coolest things on the list. You press it against a wall and plug in whatever microphone or earphones you want to, and you can hear what's happening on the other side. The rollable keyboard is a full-size, standard layout, wireless typing machine, which basically means it is very, very portable. This is the mini eye roller, kind of like a lint roller for your smartphone. You just rub it over the phone's display, and it'll pick up little bits of dust and clean fingerprints. It's not my favorite solution, but it is one option. I can't talk about favorites though without mentioning this. Xiaomi's tiny Bluetooth speaker pumps out volume and bass that would surpass your expectations given how small it is. As far as headphone splitters go, this would be the one I recommend because it can attach to a keychain so you don't lose it and doesn't involve two cables dangling out your phone. The Q7S is a powerful charging station, which has eight full-size USB ports that can fast charge, as well as a wireless charging pad on top, with a grip. Now, easily one of my favorites on this list is the Keepix, which is a smartphone printer that impressively doesn't need Wi-Fi, cable, or even batteries to run. While the trend for fidget spinners is long gone, this nifty little gadget is kind of a two-in-one that combines a spinner on the back of your phone with a ring socket that you can slip your finger through and prevent dropping your phone. This tiny little bulb from Samsung is actually not directly for your phone, but for the power bank that you might take because of it, and it plugs directly into the USB-A port and acts as a high-efficiency lamp. 
Okay, super clean is a cleaning putty that's a pretty good way of getting rid of dirt in hard to reach areas, whether that's around the camera module or buttons, or if you have moving parts. If you have a smartphone that supports OTG, then a multi OTG cable is a very good way to take advantage of it. You just plug it into your phone, and then you have three full-size USB ports to play around with. You could plug in a mouse, a keyboard, and even a wired fan. Then we've got a stealthy little gadget that sticks to the bottom of your desk and is used to hang headphones as well as connect to up to three devices, so you could have them all charging on your desk without the clutter of having the cable on your desk. The Asus Professional Dock is only if you're very serious about your phone. If you connect it to a compatible USB Type-C smartphone, you get not just USB 3.0, but also HDMI and an Ethernet port. And next up is Mounty, which connects to both your laptop and your phone, and allows you to see and use both displays at the same time from the same angle. We've got an elasticated wallet that sticks on the back of your phone, but not just an empty one this time. This contains a 20 plus tool in one kit. We've then got my new favorite power bank, not because of its capacity, but because it can output at 45 watts, which makes it one of the only power banks that can charge the Huawei Mate 20 Pro at full speed, but not just that, also the MacBook. The laser keyboard, which like the rollable keyboard still needs a flat surface to work, but you've got to admit it's one of the most portable and also one of the coolest ways to type on the go. Okay, so this video has been a really, really long time in the making, so if you did enjoy it, it would mean a lot to me if you could smash that subscribe button down below. I'll leave as many of the links as I can in the description, and as always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.